Arthur's Lake, Jonah Bay. Another place I have never put a boat out on before. I've been in a boat out here before. My friend Greg, many moons ago. Yeah, a long time ago now, it have to be 10 or 12 years, maybe more. It came out here, so I don't really know the water at all. Some trees over here. Looks suspiciously fishy. So, yeah, we'll troll around for a little bit uh, again today. A couple of hours, again, just sort of going to check the place out, scope the place out, hope to catch a fish as we move on. So, but, uh, yeah, check out what's happening and hopefully drag in a, a fish. It's, magnificent part of the world again once again around about an hour from home or so so it doesn't take too long to get here so let's see if we can bring in a fish fishing takes you to really funky places. Not done a lot of fishing on Arthur's. I've caught a couple of fish out of it. Nothing of any great significant size. Let's change that around today, hey? We can, but hope. Towing some lures around, doing some trolling, checking out the place. This is fantastic. Absolutely love it. I'll make flipping past this year. Give him a wave here in the mini. That'll be so neat. Probably not. Well, we've been out here for about 90 minutes or so I'm, I'm guessing and uh, yeah I haven't uh, turned a fish just as yet so uh, patience may be the order of the day today um, see how we uh, all travel along because I don't exactly know how many hours I want to put in today and you know life and all that sort of stuff got some bits and pieces to do at home but uh, we're out here relaxing. We've uh, tried a few different techniques on the trail down uh, towards Pump House Bay. Uh, we had out the uh, strike tiger, strike tiger. Keep calling it that. That's not. It's a killer wasp. The killer wasp lure was out the back. The uh, killer from the other day at Four Springs. Uh, but uh, yeah, so far not so good. So we've gone to the Rapala spotted dog now and we're trolling just the brown bom bomber cobra on the lead line So if we can pull something out of Arthur's Lake, we'll keep on trying Arthur's Lake, ladies and gentlemen. Flat as attack. Superb, absolutely superb. Once again, there's a lack of fish to break things up. This place is supposed to be the Mecca. I probably look ridiculous standing there. It's 
move out here instead. This place is supposed to be the Mecca. But at the moment, I'm not catching anything. They say the weather conditions in the Tasmanian Central Highlands can change quickly. This would be a demonstration of that happening in practice just at the moment from our lovely glassy conditions there earlier to well, it looks like it's gonna rain and yeah we've even got some white caps going on so we'll turn around here and go back with the wind and it's been a slow day um, it's kind of funny you know you, you get out and about one of my favourite terms, out and about. Um, you sort of go, yeah, I reckon today's a fairly fishy day. Like, it seems to be a day where the fish will probably be around. Uh, but no, no. Uh, come to the mecca of fishing in Tasmania, Arthur's Lake, the absolute mecca, they tell me. Um, yeah, no fish for me today. So, uh, I'll travel around for a little bit more still and, and see what this weather actually does do. I think I'll stick here in the bay. Um, not venture sort of too far afield, but it's been a good reconnaissance mission. Um, yeah, like it should be fishy here. It really should be. But, you know, what happens? You just catch one fish and it changes your day around. So anyway, we'll see how we go. If not, have a fun day out. <laughs>